So this week, AppRite is having a launch week, and yesterday they announced AppRite Sites, which is basically an alternative to Vercel, lets you host your website very easily using AppRite. And today they announced that they will have Flutter web support as well. I've never used AppRite Sites before. This is gonna be my first time, first impressions, and kind of see where it goes. This is not a sponsored video, by the way. I know they have sponsored other Flutter channels, but I, they've never sponsored me. So this should be mostly unbiased opinions. But also, you know, if, if this goes well, feel free to sponsor me, I don't know. So let's get into it. Um, Announcing hosting for Flutter Web. Deploy your Flutter Web apps with AppRite. AppRite has long been a powerful backend platform for Flutter developers building mobile applications. Today, we're bringing the same seamless experience to the web with full support for Flutter and AppRite sites. You can now deploy Flutter Web apps directly from your AppRite project. No extra configuration, no added complexity. This is nice. This means you can use your existing Dart and Flutter knowledge to create fast, responsive web apps without needing to learn HTML, CSS, or JavaScript. Build once with Flutter and deploy it to mobile, desktop, and web, all from a single code base, all hosted on AppRite. Why native Flutter web support matters. While most web environments are made for no Dino or Bun runtimes, run only a few are tailored for the needs of Flutter developers. Yeah, the other one I know is globe.dev. This lets you host websites, and then also there's Firebase Deploy. Yeah, Firebase Hosting, right. These are the two I know. I'm sure there's other ones, but I haven't gotten into it. So AppRite Sites is different. It's designed for the full Flutter web support in mind, not just an afterthought. That's that's very nice. That means native framework detection, optimized build settings, and direct integration with your AppRite backend products are database authentication, storage, and functions. More importantly, it eliminates the common friction points for mobile app deployment. You don't need to pay for developer accounts. $25 for Android, $99 per year for Apple. Wait days for store approvals or navigate restrictive platform policies. With web deployment, your app is live the moment you push it. I mean, yeah, but kind of the thing about Flutter is you want to you want to do it for all platforms, right? Not just the web. That's the point of the cross platform. So you'd probably want this, but you'd also probably want this. And because web apps run anywhere in the browser, you're no longer limited to iOS or Android. The Flutter app can be accessed from desktop, tablet, mobile phone, or even a smart fridge. The web is universal, and AppRite makes it easy to reach your users. Even if you're not targeting the web as your primary platform, AppRite site still solves real needs for Flutter developers. Yeah, I feel like this is probably the main thing. Most people building web apps probably aren't using Flutter Web at this point. Probably Flutter Web is just kind of a nice to have while you're building for other platforms. I know I know there's definitely some that build Flutter Web first, but I feel like that's a rare. That's more of the rare occurrence. Many apps include flows that rely on external links such as email verification, password reset, or payments. These typically direct users to a browser. With sites, you can now create and host those supporting pages using the same Flutter tooling you're already familiar with. Instead of stitching together HTML pages or managing another stack, you can build these satellite pages as lightweight Flutter web apps and deploy them effortlessly with AppRite. It's a way you leverage your existing knowledge and a more consistent way to build with fewer moving parts on one unified code base. Yeah, that's nice. So key features, full Flutter framework support. Sites not recognized and supports Flutter as a framework during setup. Auto detection, Flutter web projects are automatically identified, no manual config required. Optimize static hosting. Deploy like any other static site, but with Flutter first optimizations. Man, I hope this goes well. I really hope this is easy to, to work with because I've been wanting something like this for a while. GitHub integration. Automatically deploy on every push from your GitHub repository and works on cloud and self-hosted, whether you're using AppRite Cloud or self-hosting sites for Flutter work everywhere. That's another thing I really like about AppRite in general is always have the self-hosted option. So create a Flutter web app. Okay, I can do this. Create an AppRite project. In the console, create site, head to the sites page in the AppRite project, click on create site button and select connect a repository. Connect your GitHub account and select the repository you intend to deploy. Select the production branch and root directory from your repo. Verify the correct framework is selected. And in case an incorrect one is visible, click pick Flutter web from the drop down list. Confirm the install command, build command, and output directory in the build settings. The default settings for the Flutter web are these. Add environment variables and click deploy. Sites for Flutter is part of AppRite's larger mission to simplify developer experience with support for back-end and front-end services, including static hosting, databases, functions, and auth. AppRite is an all-in-one platform to build any application. Try it with AppLight Cloud. All right, so it seems like they only have a GitHub integration, which is nice, and that's probably the most commonly used one, but it would be really nice to have a command line interface too. But let's let's give it a shot. So I'm gonna create a project, I'm gonna name it test, deployment, only one. Test has been created. Okay, so now I'm going to add a Flutter app, make a web app. Web app's gonna be host name that your website will use to, oh then no, so I'm not in the right place. I need to go to sites, there we go. It's in high demand, join waitlist. So they just announced it, it's not the actual thing. 
Okay, shout out to Dennis. He's my friend working at Apra. He got me access to the QA server. Where I can actually try it. This should be out in the next week. So hopefully if you're watching this video, it's already out. But here we can create site. And we have two options. We either clone a template, rebuild a template quickly, or set up your site. Or we can connect to a repository. So I'm going to connect to a repository. What I'm going to use here, so I'll create a new, new project on desktop. And I'm going to use our boilerplate to quickly create a project. So Hungermind create. And I guess I should make this a little bit bigger. Hungermind create flutter and I'll name it test. And I should set up a git repository. So we'll go to GitHub, create a new repository, call it test. That's available. Private, public, doesn't matter. Create repository, test folder, a git init. Okay, so I created a git repository now. You see all the code in here. So I can go back to AppWrite, connect git. I take all my repositories, take my passwords. And here I have a test. It detects it as a flutter, so I can connect it. And this test select branch, it's the main branch, root directory, flutter, flutter, build settings, yeah, build web, flutter pub get, flutter build web release, environment variables shouldn't have any, and deploy. So we're seeing a problem that the current Dart SDK is 3.7. I think this is AppWrite's Dart SDK. And our tests require 3.72. This is because we already updated the Flutter kit to support 3.32. It just came out yesterday, so they probably don't support it just yet. But that's okay. Let's downgrade our SDK version. The terminal code. We'll do this. Hopefully, this works. And let's try de deploying again. Oh, there we go. Deployment finished. Here's a screenshot. We can go to our website now. And here it's loaded. Here's our application. Nice. Everything works. Make sure routing works. So if I go to a random site, it should go to a 404. Yep, everything's working. So we can go back to the dashboard of our sites. Yes, it, the first deploy actually updated. Nice. So let's see how fast it is if we change something. The home view, just change this to this, this counter. We added that. A new deployment gets triggered. Deployment building. Nice. And it does it to both of them because there's two linked ones. You can actually delete and now there's one building and let's see how fast it is in theory it shouldn't be that much faster because it should probably rebuild the whole package but i mean i can wait two minutes right two minutes for a brand new website is not that bad especially when you work with the app stores screenshot capture deployed in one minute and 13 seconds now if we reload does it give a new url because the old url doesn't work which is fine i'm not going to complain about something like that Preview powered by AppRate. And yeah, everything works. That's pretty sweet. That's that's very, very sweet. And I'm sure you can assign your own URLs here as well. Domains here. You can add your first custom domain. So I don't really have a domain, but you can add it and have all your builds deployed at the same time within minutes. Within actually within like a minute and 13 seconds. That's very awesome. So I've been working a lot with web building out with Hungrymind. That's one thing that I really miss is that you can just make your changes on Git, push it, and everything's up to date within two minutes and you have a new version out. So now you can do that with your Flutter applications as well. I had that tiny hiccup with an outdated version, but remember this is just a QA server that gave me access to. That's why they have a QA server so they could catch things like this. And uh, yeah, I'm sure when it's out and you can use it, which hopefully by the time you're watching this video, it's already out, it'll be nice and up to date. So. Pretty cool. AppWrite Sites. I'm a big fan of this. I'm a very big fan. And if you're curious about this boilerplate, it's not just a counter application, even though it looks like behind the scenes, the main focus is the MVVM architecture and having everything very nicely synced up. So if you want to learn more, go to hungermind.com, kit, and you can see a lot more information here. So yeah, thank you for watching. See you in the next video.